So what are some of the pet peeves that you have or things that, that you see in tapes that come in and you're like, ah, oh, please, people, don't do this. Don't do this. You know, <laughs> something well, that, that you really wish actors wouldn't do. I mean, just to make your job easier and to make ours, you know, just be on the same page. I think, and I was going to say, because we encountered some of these when I first got on too, is you want to be prepared. And I understand that there was times where something might have happened and a person wasn't able to be as prepared as they thought. But I think more than anything, even when before we might have done an occasional self-tape um, for the first round, I think, if anything, as an actor, I've always told people, you know, the, you're your own best advocate. You're your own best um, cheerleader. So make sure that you're doing everything you can to put yourself in the best light. Because unfortunately, I know people So if I'm seeing them in person, I can say, let's do that again and try this. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that on a self tape. And so they're, you know, so I try to be very, very specific about instructions. Um, but I think more than anything, I think the very first thing is people have to read, read the instructions, you know, now maybe I know I'm very detailed. I try to be very detailed with what I want. I give examples, things like that. But, um, to read everything because so many times your answers, the answers to your questions are in the document that's attached. Secondly, one of the most important things I tell people is make sure we can see you well, we can hear you well, um, make sure that you have a non-busy background um, so that you're the only people, the only, per the only thing that we are paying attention to. Mm -hmm. And, um, and to, um, make sure that all their equipment is working well. And lastly, just to make sure you have a good internet connection, because I can tell you that in callbacks, that's the first thing I can hear a director in my ear going, let's move on, let's move on. When somebody's, um, you know, they technology. Yeah, the, yeah. Their, their technology's not working for them. And I'll say, mm -hmm. okay, let's try this again. Now, I was going to say one of the, the, the interfaces that we use, I'm able to throw them back in the, the waiting room and say, texting them going, you know, let's try to get this going. But some of it is just, you know, it just doesn't work out. And so I think that that's probably the most important thing. I send that out always. Mm -hmm. Work on your lighting, work on your sound. Make sure we can see you well. Make sure your internet is working well so that you give yourself the best opportunity to shine. But if all we're looking at is like your pixelated, your, your audio and your video are not syncing up, the, the director's ready to move on. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, they just, I mean, just I understand. Yeah. I mean, there's, yeah. it's time is money and you got to get things mm -hmm. done. You have to uh, select the people that you need. Right. And, yeah. Man, that that is that is so hard. And um, speaking about um, like the you know, if there's scene one, scene two, and the slate, what mm -hmm. do you prefer? Everything in one uh, in one file, or you want separate files? What works better? I prefer separate files because people can click, and I think that I can also maybe remove something that I think is not working as well. And okay. so if I think, oh, I love first take and third take, second take, you know, then I can remove anything. I used to be able to do more editing because then I would try to make sure I was putting in, you know, the best things that were working. Um, and so I may do that occasionally. But at this point, I'm thinking, um, let's, you know, I like to be able to look at them and then say, no, nope, let me hide that take. You know, I think these two takes are best. So for me, I prefer that other than one long um uh clip. one long video yeah mm -hmm. exactly right. and so for example um do you usually ask or you you specify that in, in the specs that if you want one two or three takes uh i um, do yeah okay. i do i'll i'll specify that um at least two takes you know i never ever i mean i don't want people to give me a 30 minute audition unless it's Warranted, but you know, I do like at least two takes. And and I'm hoping that when you say that, um, they understand that I want them to to show me their range and what they're doing. So of that course. and sometimes yeah. I get the exact thing. Mm -hmm. And so I do love the the actors are they're more intuitive. They understand they're going to give that to you. And I try to say that in 
the um, instructions as well. It's like, you know, let me know what you can do. The, the, the director's looking for this, you know, so let's see how you can give him that. Now, again, that's not to take away from what an actor brings to a particular character, because I have seen times where a director will say, wow, I love the way he did that. You know, that wasn't anything that I would have done that way. And, and so, you know, that's what an actor brings to a role, you know, but at the same time, I, um, you know, I will give instructions like, this is what I want to see in your slate. Give me a little personality profile that tells me more about you. I don't want to know I'm an actor. I know you're an actor. You're already standing in front of me. I want to know more about like you, like what makes you tick or, you know, something I may not know, like, Hey, I just came back from, you know, wherever, and this was amazing. It, it just, um, it, it helps me see, um, see them in a different light. So it feels like I get to see a little bit more about who they are and what makes them go. And yeah. um, so that's an important yeah. part for me as well. And, and also, um, um, I would say, you know, maybe in, in, in those two takes or, or in every one of those instructions, and if people give you exactly what you're asking for, you will see that that person is easy to direct, right? Mm -hmm. That is someone right. who is, is going to be able to pick up all the instructions and be able to give exactly what you need or what the director needs uh, and, and be able to just assume that and, and, and give it right away, right? So, And that is great because that's exactly what a director will say. He goes, you know... Uh, he doesn't, not a lot of range, or I'm going to have to work really hard on set with him. So I like everything about him, but he just, it was just this. Uh -huh. And, um, and so it's interesting because again, like <clears throat> I know actors pretty well, you know, I know some actors better than others, but you know, like when you've seen people for so long, I'm like, you can get that out of uh -huh. them. Um, or I think just give them another opportunity. And I think that that's where my role comes as a casting director. It's like, okay, they're better than that. They're not having a good day today, but, you know, try this or else, or we're already deciding and they, and they can't decide on a role and they've got this, but they're not real enthusiastic about their options. I'm like, you know, you should look at this person again, because I think you might've missed them. And, and it happens, you know, you're seeing so many people and then, They come back up, okay, put them back up on the screen, let's take a look at them. And they're like, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, let's throw them in the mix. And so I think that um, you are very right. Time is very limited, especially because productions change so much. They want so much in one day. Mm -hmm. And so they are looking for actors who are quick, who get it, who've got that range, who can switch and are not intimidated by someone saying, no, I don't want it that way, try it this way. And so, you know, that is one thing that I like to emphasize to actors is like, don't get married to your performance. Don't be, don't get married to the way you did it. Be exactly. open to instruction because the director is only going to be interested for that short amount of time. And if he wants you to do something and you don't get it or you're not listening, then he'll like, okay, well, let's move on. And, and, and it'll be as simple as that. Let's move on when I know that that person could have probably oh. done it mm -hmm. so yeah and after that it's like they're not interested anymore 